Leonard, and I'm doing my talk on recovering from injuries. We all have questions about how athletes recover from injuries so fast. What therapies do they use, and how long does it take to recover? Well, I have an answer. Take Adrian Peterson. He tore his ACL and MCL in the 2013 season. He wrote his own rehab plan and came back naturally in eight months. The next season, he broke out for a 2,097-yard season and won MVP of the year. But back in 2000, Tracy McGrady, who was a great basketball player, injured his knee once. He thought he could come back in four months, but re-injured it again. He had to retire early. He had to, re he had to retire early because he could not stay healthy. For some of the more common injuries for athletes today, one is the concussion. A concussion is where your brain is rattled back and forth in your head, and this usually happens from contact sports like football, lacrosse, or hockey. To get healthy from it, do not look at screens and do not come back too quick, or you could get another concussion. Another common injury is the groin strain. A groin strain is um, an upper thigh muscle, and it usually happens when you're making quick cuts in sports or any kind of movement. To get back and prevent these, you want to exercise well before practices and games and stretch well. For the last common injury is the ankle sprain. An ankle sprain happens in basically any sport where there's movement, jumping, or running. Um, um, an ankle injury is usually a torn ligament in your ankle or a broken bone. To prevent this, you want to build up muscle in your ankle, doing like lifting weights and doing exercises. For the extremely painful injuries is the ACL injury, which is known as the anterior cruciate ligament. This happens when you're moving and you make a good cut or rotate your leg in the wrong way. The ligament tears and you feel a pop in your bone. You usually cannot bear your weight for a long time. It takes about eight months to get back from an ACL injury and you usually have to do a lot of exercising to get back. Approximately 150,000 US Americans get ACL injuries every year. Most of them are at and about 300,000 every year around the world. Another extremely painful injury is a spinal cord injury. The spinal cord injury can result in loss of movement, loss of sensation, loss of bowel or bladder control, and you might have painful, um, you might have painful nervous movements in your fibers in the spinal cord. The spinal cord injury just, the spinal cord injury matters where it's placed. If it's at the top of the spinal cord, you should use movement in everything but your head and neck. The lower it gets, the lower the loss of movement happens. <coughs> Did you know that physical therapy is the number one leading rehab plan for people with spinal cord injuries? Physical therapy is basically an exercise and stretching for people to get their move, some of their movement back. So I took a survey for my seventh grade class, and this is what turned out. 80% of my seventh grade class has gotten injuries before and 20% has not. And about 60% have gotten two or more injuries. Also, as you see here, the ankle sprain with eight, the groin strain and concussion with six are one of the most leading injuries in our society today. Also a shin, shin splint. It takes about, for most people it takes about one month or less to recover. This, these are usually for the common injuries like the ankle sprain, concussion, or groin injury. But for some people it takes more like seven months or something like that because they're more risky injuries. So for my conclusion, um, it's hard to recover from injuries, and I really hope you learned something about injuries today and what kind of injuries are out there and how to prevent them. Thank you.